Veronica continues to intensify and is now a severe Category 4 tropical cyclone as it tracks towards the Pilbara coast. Severe impact along the Pilbara coast is likely over the weekend and the watch zone is Pardu to Mardi including Port Head and Karatha and details of the uh, cyclone sustained winds in the centre of 185 kilometres per hour with wind gusts to 260 kilometres an hour located with in the 30 kilometres at 16 decibel 4 degrees south 117 decimal 7 degrees east estimated to be 445 kilometres north northwest of Port Hedland and 490 kilometres north of Karatha moving south at 9 kilometres per hour severe tropical cyclone Veronica rapidly developed into a category 4 system well north of the Pilbara coast and is expected to track south to southwest today intensifying the category 5 Whilst it is possible the cyclone may weaken before reaching the Pilbara coast, a severe impact is possible. And we're running with 150 miles per hour, 240 kilometres an hour, sustained winds, category 4 on the Safford Simpson Hurricane scale, and as mentioned, category 5 on the Lake AU scale, SATI estimates, pressure estimates into the 930s or even the 920s. And that information is from Nathan who is unable to do the updates at this point in time. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters on Veronica. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has it located 15 decibel 9 degrees south, 117 decibel 6 degrees east. Uh, winds 110 knots, gusting 135. And they have it located 270 nautical miles north northwest of Port Hedland. Tracking southwest at four knots over the last six hours. Animated and enhanced infrared satellite imagery shows the rapid the sister rapidly consolidating with tight convective banding, wrapping into a 20 nautical mile ride eye feature. The initial position is based with high confidence on the eye feature in the infrared loop and is supported by a 37 gigahertz SSMI microwave image also showing the eye. The initial intensity of 110 knots is based on the PGTW KNES 4 estimates of T6, 115 knots, and a APRF 4 estimate of uh, T. Point Five, 0.5 102 knots the intensity estimate is significantly higher than the previous analysis due to the rapid intensification of the system and is located in a excellent Environment for additional intensification with low 5 to 10 knot vertical wind shear, good dual channel outflow, sea surface temperature at 28 to 30, uh, correction, 29 to 30 Celsius. The cyclone is tracking along the northwest periphery of a subtropical ridge located to the southeast and will continue to track to the southwest through the next 36 hours after which it will turn southward as the steering subtropical ridge transits eastward. The system is forecast to make landfall approximately 70 nautical miles west of the Port Hedland after 96 hours. 
The favourable conditions will persist, allowing for continued rapid intensification up to 140 knots by the 36 hour mark. Afterwards, increasing vertical wind shear by land interaction will weaken the system to around 60 knots by the 120 hour mark. New McCall models are in good agreement through the next 48 hours. After that, model solution spreads significantly. All models are now showing a risk return after 96 hours with variations in the timing and sharpness of the turn. Principal outlier is NAFGEM which tracks the system to the southeast through the 120 hour mark. In light of the spread of the variations in model forecasts, there's strong confidence in the forecast through the 48 hours, then low confidence after that through 72 and 120 hour marks. And wave height is 41 feet. And on the screen is a look at the GFS precipitation model. Uh, this uh, information is available on the Pivotal Weather website. The uh, scale is at the bottom of the screen. And what does one say about the area in yellow through to dark brown? And you can clearly see Veronica and Tropical Cyclone Trevor. And this again a weak curve uh, back to the southeast. The Bureau of Meteorology's 12 hourly rainfall. The rainfall scale is on the right hand side of the screen and it's a blue up to the purple. This is updated every 12 hours by the Bureau and total forecast of rain. And I'll be keeping a close eye on the rainfall factor. I'm looking at anywhere up to 150 millimetres in uh, across the next uh, eight days. Now we have a look at some uh, tracks on Veronica. Caution needs to be applied when viewing non-official weather sources as the information does change. Late cycle intensity guidance. And here's the latest on tropical cyclone Trevor, which is expected to intensify over the eastern Gulf of Carpentaria through today. The warning zone is Papua to Mapoon, and the warning zone is Nanaboy to Kuwumba, including Groot Island, Bailuda, Mornington Island, and extending inland to Cape Crawford and Karayama to Papua. Cancelled zone is Mapoon to Cape York. Intensity category 1. Uh, sustained winds in the centre of 65 kilometres per hour with wind gusts to 95 kilometres an hour. Located within 30 kilometres at 12 decibel 9 degrees south. 141 decibel 4 degrees east. Estimated to be 60 kilometres west, uh, southwest of Reaper and 555 kilometres east northeast of Alan Gula and Trevor remains slow moving. Tropical cyclone Trevor is located over the eastern gulf and it's expected to rapidly intensify to a category 2 cyclone later today. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force13 
and our Twitter handle. It's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.